The Smith Bird Company ordered a 65-pound bag of bird seed. If the robins eat 6 pounds a week and the bluebirds eat 7 pounds a week, which of the following is one way to determine the number of weeks the bag of bird food will last? Okay, this problem's a little bit different than normal because we're not being asked to find the direct answer, but rather we're being asked how we got to the exact answer. So, let's take a look here. Here's the processes. Um, I'm going to let you guys take a look at this, and then I'll come back and show you how I did it. So go ahead and pause your video, and we will be back in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're back. I have the bird company ordered a 65-pound bag of bird seed, and it looks like they have two birds that are eating this bird seed. The robins eat six pounds a week. And bluebirds eat seven pounds a week. So in one week, there are seven pounds eaten and six pounds eaten for a total of 13 pounds by both the bluebirds and the robins combined. All right, the next thing says, which of the following is one way to determine the number of weeks the bag of bird food will last. All right, they have a 65 pound bag of bird food. And each week, they're eating 13 pounds, the birds are eating 13 pounds of the seed. So at that rate, it'll be 13 one week, 13 the next, 13 the next, and sooner or later, they're gonna run out of, of bird seed. So the way we would figure it out is we to see how many there are, we'd have to take 65 and divide it by the number of pounds eaten per, eaten per week. And that would give us up here the number of weeks that it will last. So we'd have to take the total amount of food, divide it by how much is eaten each week, and that will give us the number of weeks it will last. All right. Um, we don't even really need to figure that out, so I'm going to show you how you do this without figuring it out. Let's just take a look at our answer choices. The first one says, the way we would figure out how much they eat per week is by adding together, this is why vocabulary is important, by adding together 65 plus 6 plus 7. Okay, 65 plus 6 plus 7. Well, that's 65 plus 13. That is going to give us 78. Now, it's not going to last 78 weeks if they're eating 13 pounds a week and there's only a 65-pound bag. That does not make sense. We are getting rid of that one. Look at the next one. Divide. Oh, good, because we know that we need to divide. So six divide 65 by the product of 6 and 7. Ooh, product of 6 and 7. Well, the product of 6 and 7 is not 13 like we used because the product is multiplication. That would be 42. That doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't divide 65 by 42 because they're not eating 42 pounds a week. That one's wrong. The next one, subtract the sum of 6 and 7 from 65. Okay, let's try that. 65 pounds. I'm going to subtract the sum of 6 and 7. Well, that looks good because that's how much they eat in a week. All right, so after one week, they would have 52 pounds left. So that's kind of working, but the problem with this is this is not telling us the number of weeks, this 52. This is telling us how much pounds they would have left after one week. So this is not the correct answer. So it's got to be this last one, but I need to check that to make sure that makes sense. All right, so divide 65 by the sum of 6 and 7, which is 13. So it's 65 divided by 13, which is what we wrote up here. So that is correct. Our correct answer is D. Did you all get that? Good job.